I love your movie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I think it's incredible. Uh, it reminds me so much of Aliens, Terminator, and Blade Runner, but there's also a very strong uh, feeling of Akira yes. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think it was very, it was like, so I'm curious, what made you decide to fold in so much Eastern style storytelling into a Hollywood movie? That's a good question. I think probably lots of different things. I think the biggest reason, because I did experiment with all different ways of making this film and where we could set it. And to me, the biggest thing I maybe learned from Star Wars was what George Lucas did so well is he took things from the ancient past, like, you know, spiritual storytelling, mythology, you know, religion and stuff. And he put it together with stuff in the far future and, and, nothing, and nothing in between. So he doesn't use contemporary anything, just a thousand years ago, a thousand years ahead and put them together. And to me, the closest place to that for real in the world is Southeast Asia. Like when you go traveling and you go to somewhere like Bangkok, Hong Kong, Tokyo. You That's so true. That's you, amazing. Yeah, you see like this mega city like from Akira and then you take a left turn and there's a temple with a Buddhist monk and it's like that that those two opposing forces like fused together is like what makes all those films you referenced I think so interesting and so yeah, Asia was just like the perfect location really. Well, you know, you mentioned Star Wars and you've had the opportunity to work in two very big franchises, Godzilla and Star Wars. How is it building your own? Um, well, to be honest, tried not to build a franchise. Like um, sometimes the producers might ask you like, is it, you know, sequel stuff and you go, no, 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 no. We're not doing a sequel. This is not about a franchise. It's a one-off movie. It has a beginning, a middle and an end. And I don't know, it's really <laughs> good. <laughs> it's a high class problem to have. If, if someone at the end of this taps me on the shoulder and says, we got to do another one, then like, we deal with it then, but it's like, I just wanted this to be its own little thing. And and yeah, I, that's what I love about films versus say television is that it's a one-off story that just is, you know, begins and ends. My favorite part of storytelling is the ending. So I, I, I kind of live for those moments when it cuts to the credits and you just go, oh my God, and you wake up and you realize you're in the theater, you know, it's kind of what it's all about. Well, everybody's talking about uh, AI. You know, it's tearing Hollywood in half. Having researched artificial intelligence and now told your own story about it, how do you personally feel about AI? Um, I think we're gonna be okay. You know, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think the AI that is here right now is probably not sentient in any way. It's, um, it's like, uh, it's gonna be an, phenomenal tool to some extent. I think basically the whole history of, you know, society, there's been inventions like the electricity, you know, automobiles, um, computers, the internet, and they have seismic shifts in industries and everyone freaks out for a while. And then eventually the dust settles and I feel like everyone gets to the side of it and feels like, yeah, we wouldn't go back. It's better now than what it was. Mm -hmm. And I think AI is gonna be one of those where it's gonna cause a lot of problems for you know quite a lot of people, I'm sure, but the benefits I hope will outweigh the negatives in the long run. I just, I, of I have to say that because come the robo apocalypse, you know, they're gonna remember it. You don't wanna speak. They'll be like, remember his interview? He was yeah. on our side. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna be spared. I love it. They'll, they'll, I'm sure they'll love your movie. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is speaking of developments, I love the way you evolve warfare. I don't wanna give anything away because you have such great surprises. Like the bomb that you came up with blew my mind. Uh, so is that all stuff you came up with with your team or is it based on things that are actually being worked on with no spoilers, but just how did you, how did you do such a good job showing futuristic warfare? Um, that was a random I had, idea I had when I was doing Godzilla. I, we, we were out having lunch when we were editing and I, I don't even know where it came from, but I remember talking about the idea of a, I think we, a dog ran, I think a dog ran past us or something and I, for some reason, said, ah, oh, like, it, like, pictured it being a robot dog. And like, mm -hmm. what, and then for some reason, a bomb. And I was like, what would you do if, like, there was just, like, a ticking clock on it and it just ran past? And that I always, was, was amazing. And I always liked that idea and I just kept it in my pocket. I went, I'll try and put that in a film one day and I just forgot about it. And it came to me when we were, this, when I was writing this sequence, I was like, 
Oh, here we go. And I won't say any more because it will ruin it for people. Yeah, right? Ah, so the last thing I want to ask you is that you could have cast anyone as your lead. Uh, why did you go with, he's wonderful in the film, what made you go with John David Washington? I just wanted to have the hit, like, I guess you want to call your lead character the hero, but that was the whole point. I didn't want a hero's hero. I wanted someone who had a crack in the armor, you know, that wasn't afraid to show emotion and 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 feel defeated. And like a lot of a lot of these characters in these kind of movies, I never worry about them because I always think they're gonna be fine, you know what I mean? And and I wanted someone who was kind of broken um, and and as a and as an actor was not afraid to put that all out there, you know. Didn't care how they looked. Didn't care how it came across. We shot so much material. The first cut of this movie was five hours nearly, and wow. jo and John David would just like improvise and keep going, like twenty five minute takes, and had all this great stuff to pull from, kind of build his character. And so um, I just wanted needed someone that that agreed with that approach and and would run with it. And he was 150% like, dives right in and never complained once in really difficult circumstances. Like it was crazy hot and tropical, like, you know, jungles and things. And he never ever once, he was, he never snapped once. I was kept, kept waiting for it, but it never came. Wow, well, it's really a phenomenal film and I hope someone taps you on the shoulder and asks for more. Well, we'll see, we'll see.